Alright, I did not plan my morning correctly. It's 8.52 and we need to catch that bus. Ooh, that bus! Catch that bus to get to 305. So I don't have to spend money on a lift because yesterday I was at zero. But we gotta hurry. Oh, my yoga mat. After 305, we have hot yoga. Alright, now we're leaving. I gotta make this bus. If I don't, I have to buy a car. So kind of all over the place this morning. Um, and I have to bring my laptop, which doesn't fit my bag. I know I should have brought a bigger bag, but I didn't have time. I didn't eat breakfast, and I'm about to go to a, a double class. We made it on the bus, eating an apple. We have gone to this block the first time. All right, there's like no traffic today, so it's 9.10. I left at nine, and I'm in the town. Which is insane. So, what I was saying is this morning, I like was so not, but I like didn't get up in time. I don't know, I told myself I was gonna get up at eight. I ended up laying in bed till like 8.30, and then I was like, I gotta do that blog post. I knew I had to leave on the bus at nine. And I was like, well, should I just take my lift instead? So what I did is, so I take my computer with me, so I could ride on the bus into class. So we do 305 and then go over to Y7. So I gotta bring all my stuff with me and then tonight I have that Zola panel. So just doing all that, doing the most. So I'm gonna get to 305 and then write the rest of this blog post. All right, 305 is done. It is 11 o'clock and I was able to get my blog post done. Might be like a little misspelled, but I was like downstairs writing it. I just though, something bad. I spent $8 on a juice, which, oops, but it's whatever. I haven't eaten, I need something in my body before I go to yoga. Okay, so I'm gonna walk over there. I'll probably be pretty early. Considering it doesn't start in an hour, but maybe the class will be empty and I can just go in and shavasana which I think it just means lay down, but TBD. Okay, see you guys in a bit. All right, just got done with Y7 and possibly the most I've ever swept before at a class. It was so hot, two girls like kind of tapped out. I mean, I I don't know if it was like the 305 Y7 combo, but whoa, 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 whoa. Or they just like really cranked up the heat. Usually that studio is not super hot, but this one was like, so hot. Oh, it felt good. Now I really need like the coldest shower. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna head home, make some avocado toast, and get ready for the rest of the day. All right, we are home. I am showered and clean, a little shaky, and that means I just need to start eating some food. I might be a little shaky just because I just tried the Diva Cup for the first time. Cause like I am just over the other options <laughs> and it's a pain and it's annoying and so I was like at the CVS and I was like you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna try it it was $42 which is first off insanely expensive for something that that's small so I have like a ton of friends who use it and love it and rave about it and say like they could just never imagine going back so I gave it a try and I could have not hated it more. <laughs> I didn't like any single part of the process but that's not harping against anybody who does use it. Maybe there's like another brand that might be better for me but I didn't like that at all and I tried like two or three times and Try different things and I read the directions and I followed them well and no. So I have to try and figure out a different solution. Avocado toast for anybody who doesn't know it is sourdough, avocado, um, feta, and Trader Joe's everything seasoning mix. The good thing about today, like I loved working out, that I was just, it was a lot of sweat so I definitely need to like keep hydrating the rest of the day or else I'll like turn into like a little crinkly raisin it's gorgeous outside it's so nice it's like hotter than yesterday which was nice but not after you're so, you sweated so much you would like love some cold air but so i ended up walking home spent 42 dollars no 47 dollars at 
CVS. Um, and then tonight I have that Zola fashion panel that I'm going to speak on. I posted my updated workout routine today. So obviously you guys who have been watching here since day one kind of know what everything is, but in case you wanted to ever read it or you know any, anybody who doesn't know, um, I'll leave a link down below to that blog post. And speaking of the blog, so annoying. So I'm still on Blogger. I just don't really think they'll ever switch over to WordPress because I just don't need to. So Google is shutting down Google Plus and they like made us transition over to Google Plus comments. Now that they're deleting Google Plus, every single Google Plus comment on the blog is also being deleted. So I don't have any comments on any of my blogs and I'm like really saddened by it. Like perfect example and I'm gonna like tear up a little is like when I like announced that I was engaged there was like so many people who you know sent their love and support and it was just like overwhelmingly nice and sweet or like when I posted about you know losing the job and um like my mental health struggles there was like so many wonderful comments on there of girls who were like going through the same thing and it was it's just like so like gut-wrenchingly sad and it's something so dumb and small but it just makes me so sad that all of them are completely wiped away now and I'll never get them back and I just like feel sick over it <laughs> and it just it sucks it really sucks and I'm really sad about it and there's just there's no way to get it back so I'll see you guys later <laughs> I'm gonna, so I'm going to um, get through some emails, eat my lunch, and I'll check in in a little bit. All right, it's five o'clock, and I need to be at the Zola pop-up store around 6.30. So I'm gonna start getting ready. I always like to give myself a lot of extra time. I let my hair air dry for the most part, and now I'm just gonna style it. So I got, I've been getting like a few DMs, not a lot by any means, but just a few about hair dryers. Um, and there are plenty of great hair dryers out in the market. Um, I obviously love my Bioionic one. I think it's the best. My mom has a Dyson one and she swears by it. I have a lot of friends who swear by that. I have a couple friends who have and love the T3. Also. Like Conair is a good brand, but what I want to say is a good blow dryer is worth the investment. Let me blow dry my hair and I'll tell you why. <laughs> blow dry is done. And I'm just gonna start on my makeup. What I was saying about the blow dryer is it's worth the investment because you want to protect your hair. You think about how many times you blow dry your hair and you divide it and how many years you keep a blow dryer. I've had this one for five years now. And I blow dry my hair twice a week, three times a week. And then you divide that by how much the hair dryer is really. So it's obviously an investment, but it's something that's gonna last you. There's some things that you like obviously wanna spend your money on and some things it's just not worth it. I'm just gonna do one pump of the Fenty Pro Filter. This is 150. And I'm gonna add in a torch of the Smashbox primer oil. Yesterday obviously kind of boring but as is life. I feel like Mondays are the days where I just try and get a lot of stuff done and ready for the rest of the week. So I'm just taking my a cosmetics brush and just really rubbing this in all over for a nice light layer. Today I spent most of the day researching places to go for my bachelorette. I want to go somewhere in the Caribbean and I want to work with a hotel that will host us so it'll be a little bit cheaper for everybody to go but trying to find some place even to reach out to host nine girls is like kind of hard i found a few i found one in jamaica one in exuma one in st bart's i feel like my face is very dry today any kind of primer water will help bring that back to life so just going over all i did my morphe sponge bachelorette we have it planned for april but currently I haven't done any planning for it and I know I'm not supposed to plan for it, but I'm like helping my sister plan. Let's try the Fenty concealer. I said I want a light layer and then I'm putting on 
both of these. So I just want to get some stuff together, like put together like a little goodie basket for them, for the girls. So I just need to start working on it. It's not like the coverage that I want. I'm just so used to chart shape tape that anything but that, I mean, I just don't know who can ever come close to matching tart. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and just quickly set the under eyes. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Lawless Finish Powder. I'm hitting pan on it too, which is like kind of a big deal. So I just put like a little light set down before I go in with the powder to bake. So just stamping that in. And I don't want like a really serious bake as we saw yesterday. With that, you just kind of stamp it in quickly instead of letting it sit. And doing it with a sponge will help melt everything in. I think doing a two a day <laughs> was a little much. Well, lesson learned, good thing I didn't do the SLT and bar three class yesterday. But I do wonder if I'm able to do an SLT in yoga. So maybe one where I don't sweat and then sweat a lot. So I'm just gonna go in with the Hula Benefit Bronzer and just put that into my crease. Put a little bit of bronzer. This is not the right brush, but I'm just trying to do it quick. Tarte blush. Just get the top of the cheeks. Get a little over the nose. Give it that sun-kissed look. And then whatever is left over on the temples. Brought some color back into this face. And I'm just gonna take the Fenty Beauty Highlight and pack that on my finger and just put it all over my lid. Putting a lot more makeup than I was expecting. I was just gonna do a small little thing, but I think the concealer powder really got me going. Put a little bit on the tip of my nails. Keep it bow in inner corner. And then whatever is left over, right above the brow bones, and diffuse that. And then right underneath the eyebrows, which I need to do is quickly draw them in. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but my eyebrow is like totally working. Have eyebrows. Even plucked a few hairs yesterday. So there's that. And then we just brush them through to make them look au natural. And there's a tiny, tiny bit of brow powder, brow pomade, brow gel. A little bit of the Tatcha. Dewy skin mist. <laughs> Ugh, why did I get stuff in my mouth? And then my mascara combo. There's always like extra darkness right in here versus not over here. I'm gonna see if my powder can fix that. A little, 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 little bake. We'll need to leave in 30 minutes. This eyelash always gives me so much. I also have no idea what I'm wearing tonight. Okay, you guys know how long these take, so I'll be right back. All right, here we are. Guys, look how long my eyelashes are. Can't tell me that stuff doesn't work. Also, last night I started watching the Ted Bundy tapes on Netflix, and I fell asleep. But that's the bad news. Good news is that like I got to bed at like 10. It was amazing. Okay, let's try and figure out what to wear. All right, this is the look. This is a Ralph Lauren blazer, um, long blazer, and then my Brooks Brothers white top, my Mott and Bow jeans, and then um, my white Vince Camuto. How I pair with this. So I'm gonna run out, and I'll catch you guys in the cab. So we're at the Zola pop-up store for the panel. Look how cute this is. We're back home, and sorry I didn't really vlog much from the event, but I was just having so much fun hanging out with everybody. So I wore these shoes, and I really, really like them. I think they will become one of the rotations of the wedding shoes. So learn some good stuff, and I have some stuff to add to my to-do list because there isn't enough already. Can you guys stand up there? Got some stuff in, obviously. I basically learned a lot about lingerie and tailoring. Oh, yay! 
Halloween. So as part of like my no shopping this month, I on like just on January like 31st went through all my gift cards and bought stuff. So this is the Dudley Stevens turtleneck sweater. I'll probably be wearing this tomorrow because I love wearing my new stuff. Um, I have it in navy and I'm obsessed with it. And so I got it in the blush camel color and it's magnifique. This should be a fake bag from China that I'm gonna do a review on. And it would look so real. I was like, that's not safe. Okay, so, wow, like so fake. This is from Talbot's, which should be a press box because I didn't order anything from there. So as always, I'm always a little nervous going to events by myself. I love talking to people, but if I don't know anybody, I'm like nervous as hell. Oh, cute. Krista, happy Valentine's Day. Love Talbot's PR. Really cute. This is lip balm and heart socks and chocolates. Maybe some jewelry. Oh, that's really cute. A little heart bracelet. Love that. A sweater with a little heart on it. Really sweet. Thank you guys. Love getting little surprise mailings from them. Because they always have the cutest stuff. Next is that Ulta package I was telling you guys about. I got the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. A blender cleanser solid. The ultimate makeup sponge and brush cleaner. And then this is a big Nordstrom package. Big Nordstrom package that I'm not gonna open right now. We will wait to open that tomorrow in the daylight. Remember how I said you would see the Dudley Stevens thing tomorrow because I like wearing new things? Well, here it is. I love it. It's so cute. So this is a um, local businesswoman in Connecticut and she makes these uh, mock turtleneck fleeces. This is a size medium. Um, if you're in between, definitely size up because there's not like a ton of stretch, but oh, these just get better with time. They are so cute. I'm really just also feeling myself right now. My hair and makeup. Hello. Line drops in February, which is this month. It should drop soon. So they'll restock um, in all of their colors and sizes. So now what I'm going to do is edit today's blog post. Not blog post. Vlog. That's supposed to go live. It is. It's 9 o'clock. It's supposed to already be live. I haven't started editing it. So good thing yesterday was super boring because that'll make for a quick edit process. It's 11.44. I just finished editing this video. Now I need to download it to my computer, upload it to YouTube. That's gonna take a while. I didn't get to write a blog post for tomorrow. And I'm so exhausted. That double class, not a good idea. I'm going to bed. See you guys tomorrow.